welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing amazingly well like how are you feeling today how is your body how is your head and how is your fit hope you are doing amazingly well leave me your comment down below i would love to read your comment all right guys as usual i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day at the same time i want to thank all my amazing lovelies all my amazing peoples, all my personal person on this platform, I want to say thank you all so much for your constant love and your support. Your girl is so fantastic. Hi! I just spoke something. I don't know what the meaning is. <laughs> At the same time, if you are new here, welcome. You are so, so welcome. My name is Jenny. I'm into skincare and air growth tips like the one you're about to watch right now. If you find the video useful, or better still, glance through my channel. If you love what you see and you feel like you want to see more of this Nigeria girl face, on your screen again and again. Then I will say, for you leave, please support me by clicking that red bell and subscribe and also give me a huge thumbs up. It will help you get a lot. So lovelies, today I will be sharing with you how to DIY your onions and your aloe vera air growth butter. This is the butter over here. As you all know, you know I always love onions when it comes to my hair. Like I don't play with onions when it comes to my hair. Like onions have really helped my hair a lot. Like call me the girl of onions, I will gladly answer that. I don't play with onions, so <laughs> I drink onions juice. I eat onions a lot. I think that I use onions on my hair again and again. I will not stop using onions on my hair. If you want to grow your hair with onions, you have to be consistent with it. It's not a magic. It's a normal routine. You have to incorporate onion into the life. Yes. If you want to see the amazing benefit of onions, then keep using it again and again. You will see amazing results. Onion do grow hair. Yeah, onion will grow your hair really really well this butter out here can be used on multiple purpose which is number one as a pre poo okay you apply it on your hair i like to see for this 30 minutes before you shampoo your hair and your hair is going to thank you later and also as overnight treatment apply it on your hair i like to see it the next day before you shampoo your hair meaning overnight okay then you shampoo your hair the next day then you see amazing result on your hair or you keep doing this thing again and again and tell it to seal in the moisture on your hair if you don't really care about the onion smear because me personally i don't care about onion smear anymore right i will apply it on my hair then i'm good so go <laughs> but if you really, really care more about the smear then you have to apply lots of essential Oh yes, and if you keep on watching the video, you will see how I apply other things inside this butter to kill the smell of the onions. And lastly, this butter out here can be used as a skin massage to massage your body, massage your skin, to relieve you of all those hectic stress, all those unwanted stress. Yes, this butter can be used as a skin massage. Massage your skin with this butter. Allow it to sit for at least 20 minutes before you wash your body. Trust me, you are going to love your skin. At the same time, your, your, your body will feel so relieved. I'm telling you, lovelies. Yes, trust me. Tested and trusted, okay? So guys, without taking all our time, let me show you guys how to make your own aloe vera and your onions every butter. And please, if you like this video out here, give me a huge thumbs up. It will help you get to rank higher on this competitive platform. You all know it's not easy out here. So give me a huge thumbs up. Leave any questions down below. I will gladly answer you. So guys, let's go. Because you know what? Thing? Time is money and I hate taking your time. Let's just dive into the video officially. So lovelies, let's proceed with the preparation. I will need this my blender. This year I will blend everything together. The over here I have some amount of my diffuse aloe vera plant. The link on how I preserve my aloe vera will be down in the description box. Then I will go in with my aloe vera. The over here I have my half white onions i've already shoved them as you can see then i'll just pour in my onions into my blender then over here i have my purple chopped onions as well i love the onions to be mush on this butter so i'm using two types of onions okay but any one you prefer if you prefer the white one to the, to, to the yellow one 
or to the purple one anyone you prefer just use any one and any amount of your choice then after i applied my onions i will go in with my grape seed oil any oil of your choice like sunflower oil almond oil soya bean oil but please use oil that is light in consistency i will go in with 100 ml of my grape seed oil then i will pour it into my blender So right now, I'm going to cover it up, then I'm going to blend into a smooth paste. Okay, if you don't want to blend yours, you can cook yours like this. But me, I love to blend mine because I want all the nutrients to come out from the ingredients. So lovelies, after blending my ingredients together, look at the amazing consistency. Look at how it's looking. So I will just pour in my mixture into my pot as you can see me doing. All right, when cooking your ingredient, please cook on a very, very low flame. I cooked mine for 40 minutes on a very, very low flame. Don't over process your ingredient and please don't cook with high flame then right now i will go in with my fresh rosemary plant to kill the smell of the onions as you can see rosemary has an amazing smell and also has an amazing benefit on your hair so as you can see right now i'm just cooking my onions and my aloe vera on a very low flame and please while I cook it please tear continuously because you don't want to burn your ingredient and also don't allow it to cook for too long so after i cooked for 40 minutes i off my flame that i allow it to cool down for another 10 minutes right now my oil is still hot so i will go in with this my stuff to strain out the oil out of the Pop. all right when you strain your oil you have some trace of water and some trace of onions juice as well i did not over process mine so you will find some juice inside the oil but that's no problem okay we are going to work with it because you really want the onions into the butter that's the main aim of making onions butter so as you can see right now i have a lot of onion juice inside my oil that has onion juice mixed with water and also mixed with the oil and guys it's super duper amazing so lovelies right now i will go in with two spoon of my emulsifying wax because there is water inside you want to apply your emulsifying wax because it will solidify everything together then over here i have my 50 gram of my shea butter i will pour in my shea butter into my ingredient Then right now, I have 40 grams of my coconut oil. I will pour in my coconut oil into my bowl as you can see me doing. Then I will go in with one and a half spoon of my pure organic honey. Honey is amazingly great on your hair. Then I will go in with one spoon of my glycerin vegetable oil. This oil moisturizes your hair and also gives your hair a lot of shine. Then I will go in with one spoon of my castor oil. Castor oil ticket dark it and make your hair to grow amazingly well then after that i'm going to stir it together until it's met up okay but if your oil is cold already you can as well apply inside your microwave to heat up for at least 10 seconds to mess together 
or you can do the double it boiling method to mend all your butters together so i might create mine for five seconds because the oil is kind of cold not that hot anymore until it become made like this okay so you can microwave yours for at least five seconds to allow yours to melt completely so right now i am going to cover it up and place mine inside the freezer for at least 20 minutes to solidify you can leave yours inside your fridge if you prefer so after 20 minutes look at how my butter is looking it as solidify a lot as you can see then right now i will go in with my hand mixer to just whisk everything together when doing the whisking guys you want to mix and you will scoop you will mix and you will scoop until you get the perfect consistency you are going for so as you can see me right now i'm just missing everything together So after whisking, I will go with my spatula to just remove the excess butter out of my mixer and also scoop everywhere around as you can see me doing. You want to mix and you will scoop, you will mix and you will scoop. Look at the beautiful consistency. There is no more water in there as you can see. The right now, I will go in with my essential oil. Starting with my tea tree extra oil, I will apply five drops of my tea tree oil. Then I will go in with my meat essential oil that will apply five drop as well guys any oil you have just apply but if you want to kill the smell completely apply more of lavada rosemary and meat essential oils right now i'm applying five drop of my lavender essential oil and also i'll go in with my calyptus essential oil i will apply five drop as well of my calyptus essential oil then right now i will go in with my lemongrass essential oil called the amazing smell and it has antibacterial and anti fungi as well then i will apply five drops of my lemon gross essential oil then over here i have my preservative i will go in with five drops of my preservative then after that i am going to miss everything one again So lovely is after missing for the second time. Look at how uh, my butter is looking. It's time to store my. I will store my in that my cool, clean, and disinfect jar. Please, when storing your butter, store your butter on a cool, clean, and disinfect jar or container. As you can see, look at how fluffy the butter is. Looking super duper smooth and also so amazing so lovely here is how you can make your diy onions and your aloe vera air growth butter for people living treatment overnight treatment and your skin massage for faster stronger and healthy air growth i thank you all for watching god bless you one after the other until i will see you on the next one or until you see me on your screen next time remain blessed i know what peace bye bye